I'm your neighborhood reporter Russell Shelberg here in DeWitt where tick season is upon us once again and I'm here at the DeWitt Pet Health Center to see how you can keep yourself and your furry friend safe. The ticks are coming out and they can latch on from head to toe. They can be anywhere on the pet, so anywhere like in the ears, under the ears, by the lips, in the armpits, in between the toes. So a good once over is definitely a good place to start. Veterinarian Rachel Peterson says those simple checks can help prevent ticks from spreading harm and disease. She also adds that having extra lines of defense, like a monthly flea and tick preventative, can go a long way. The ticks generally need to be attached for six hours plus before they can actually transmit disease. So the goal there is if there was a, some that missed through our little screening, that they're going to get killed by that preventative or repel them so they never even bring them into our house to the starting point. But pets aren't the only ones that can receive a bite. Humans are also commonly known to attract the insect. Medical entomologist Emily Din says if you find a tick, remove it and monitor your symptoms. Anytime after a tick bite, you monitor yourself for 30 days for any symptoms that may resemble something like the summer flu, rash, uh, fatigue, anything out of the ordinary like that. Din suggests thorough checks on your body after being outside as some ticks can be as small as a poppy seed. And if you experience symptoms that worsen over time, you're asked to call your doctor. In your neighborhood, I'm Russell Shelberg, Fox 47 News.